Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin from the product development team here at D'Angelico, and we are here checking out the all new Premier Tammany XT. This new take on the Tammany stemmed from our desire to create an acoustic with the Art Deco stylings of mid-century New York, but with modern, lightweight construction, all at an accessible price point. The Tammany is a non-cutaway OM with a slightly shallower upper bout depth. The XT version features a solid spruce top with scalloped X bracing paired with laminated mahogany back and sides. It also features a mahogany C-shaped neck that's just a touch thicker than previous D'Angelico's for a bit of extra resonance capped off with a rosewood fingerboard for great playability and warmth. So one of my favorite parts about this guitar is how thin the satin finish is, both on the body and the neck. It really gives the instrument a natural and woody character while retaining great durability and resilience thanks to the laminated back and sides construction. The Tammany XT is equipped with a Fishman Sonotone preamp system with sleek placement of a single volume and tone control inside the sound hole, allowing for excellent acoustic electric tone while not obstructing the overall design. Other key appointments on the Tammany XT are the contrasting top pinstripe, an archtop inspired Scalini pickguard, and our throwback scroll style headstock with custom vintage deluxe tuners from Grover. So right now I'm on the vintage natural with a wine pinstripe, and I'm just gonna play some basic open chords so you can hear that woody character and sustain I was talking about. So something I really love about the Tammany XT is just how comfortable the neck is, and it really allows me to play more aggressive finger style. So right now, I'm going to play a little bit of an old standard called I'll See You In My Dreams. So one thing I just really love about this guitar is how well it takes open tunings. And I've actually had the guitar with me for a few days and I composed a little piece uh, in this tuning called Open A Add 4, where I have a capo here on the third fret. And it just is such a dynamic instrument and it just sounds beautiful. <laughs> 